Tensions were high in Warren County after family members confronted the nephew accused of killing his uncle. WJTV's Detay Holmes was there as the family heard the grisly details of this case for the first time. Family members gathered outside the courthouse waiting as Joseph Patton was led to the building. They tell me they're trying to stay strong. I really don't have words to explain it with my, the only thing I want to know is why my nephew did it. And I haven't asked him why, that, but that's the only thing I want to know is why he take my only brother. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Matter of fact, I wouldn't have did that to my worst enemy or could even found him the fact of a relative have did this to another relative. But uh, we're strong, we'll be all right. I can't, I can't take it back. Inside the courtroom, an emotional scene as family of the victim and accused faint as soon as Joseph walked in. He's accused of killing his uncle, 62 year old Alfred Patton. Investigators on the stand say they found the victim at his home with an axe in his throat. This is probably one of the most brutal homicide scenes that I've seen and, and the, the family is obviously devastated uh, to complicate that devastation and those emotions. This was another family member that perpetrated this crime. So, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with this family as they go through an incredibly difficult time in their life. Patton had been living with his uncle on and off. Investigators say he tried to take out a life insurance policy on his uncle and found papers with Patton's handwriting that prove it. Another key piece of evidence, surveillance video not being released at this time that investigators say shows Patton buying an ax from the Home Depot. Nate Holmes, WJTV. Investigators say that they also found a bottle of bleach bought from the Dollar General and a to-do list of cleanup materials that included bleach, trash bags, and towels. Joseph Patton is being held without bond on first-degree murder charges.